What's up, Rockstars? Welcome to another news video. I got a lot of new stuff I'm covering today. Some stuff that's just ending, so you can get this is like your last chance to get some of this stuff. There is a little bit of drama stuff going on. There's some calling out of some companies. There's some oh, oh, a, a big announcement from me. There's a lot of stuff. It, it, it's, it's a ton. Trust me. Thank you to my channel sponsor and to the AM. Support the channel and get an awesome premium shirt I designed with them by using the link in the description below to purchase Eternal Guardian. From the lopsided crown, wolves, Norse throne, and more, this shirt is spectacular and you can save 10% off when buying this fantastic shirt. Check it out and many other awesome shirts via the link down below. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons and new to members. It is through their financial support that this channel is possible. If you appreciate the videos I make every single week for you guys, and you can give even a dollar a month, there is a link down below in the description. Thank you so much for giving. I greatly appreciate it. And as you can see, yes, I am wearing this shirt again. As an FYI, as an FYI, if you get this shirt, be the link in the description below. Not only are you helping out the channel, but you get a great shirt. If you send me a picture of you wearing this shirt or whoever you gave it to or whatever, they are actually going to make a, a community collage. I'll be giving away a $50 gift card to in... Uh, into the AM. You guys could win that just by, again, sending that picture to me. So we've already started to share and they are looking great. I'm glad you are enjoying this shirt uh, as much, if not more, than I even enjoyed designing it for you guys. So uh, without the, without other way, let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, really, the big thing first here, Reaper Miniatures, Bones, they always do great. This is the sixth one they've done. This is Tales from the Green Griffin. $890,000, still 22 days ago. They're probably easily going to break a million and keep going from there. Uh, they're very well supported. A lot of people love their stuff. If you're into D&D &D or any of that tabletop fantasy stuff, there are a ton of minis here. This is how they help um, support their their work. They have a whole bunch of old stuff that they're like moving to like uh, plastic and stuff and some new stuff as well to enjoy. Um, as you see, it's some really unique stuff too. Like this Bloodstone Golem looks so unique. A lot of these are, I think, Think look bad like especially some of the older ones a lot of them i think look really really great it's kind of a big mix of them but they're almost always a great price for how much you're getting you're getting a ton of stuff a whole bunch of unique miniatures look at this nightmare guy it looks freaking sweet there's a there's a ton here a ton here so you can go and click like, all the links are in the description below by the way so go ahead and head down there to anything you see interesting and uh check it out see see if it's something right for you it's a good way to get a ton of minis, that's for sure. Next up, we have Tidal Blades 2 Rise of the Unfolders plus Cypher System RPG, $859,000. Congratulations, Druid City Games. This is their first Kickstarter after leaving Skybound, and it did a wonderful success. They did a great job on it, and a lot of people are going to be quite happy. Over 7,000 backers, only 15 hours to go, so this is like last minute for you guys, seriously. If, if you're into this, pause this video. I will be showing you more, but go ahead and click it back it or whatever it is you need to do and then come back welcome back if you're here let's go ahead and keep moving on there's a ton though i mean it, it there's a lot to go to go over so let's keep moving on dead by daylight the board game 13 days to go thought that was fitting 668,000 it was at 666,000 it was perfect it had 13 and 666 it was like this game it was perfect for this game but alas it is now not there uh which is fine that's that, that's okay it's still um doing very very well over 7,000 backers as well uh very impressive I think the board looks kind of uh blah and they even say it here but the gameplay is quite light um you know mechanically speaking and that's what it looks like to me it's very much a um a game you play to have fun with friends, right? Especially as you go and hunt them down and stuff like that. It's not like a, a super thinky game or anything like that. And not every game has to be like that. So that's totally fine. It's definitely not my thing, but I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy it a lot. The theme is certainly awesome. They got a whole bunch of minis. There's all sorts of stuff you can go and check out. It's made by uh, Level 99 uh, Games, which is highly regarded as well as a company. So that's good news too. All right, next up we have Casting Shadows, 2.8 million. Oh my goodness. Uh, there is another campaign I'm going to be covering that's over 2 million in this video alone as well. This is doing quite well. Um, and uh, there's really no doubt from Unstable Unicorns to all sorts of different stuff like this. Things that are themed like this are like card battlers and, and all the, they just do so well. They do so well. 
Um, it, it, it's honestly uh, kind of amazing. And it just um, it, it does well because people like what they get. And at the end of the day, as long as you're making a product that seems fairly balanced, uh, uh, priced and people are enjoying it, good. Mission accomplished. You did a great job. So uh, that's done by Unstable Games. Quite fitting, of course, the name uh, there. Next up, we have Teberu Presents the Bad Karmas. Six days to go. Almost a thousand backers. Approaching 300,000 in funding. This is very much investing for the uh, Teberu system. And then the Bad Karmas is the kind of the free game you get with it in a way, um, which is cool. They keep adding more content to and all that. They have improved their pitch, I believe. Uh, you can see here now half the image, a little bit less than half the image, half would be like right here, is showing off the new stuff. If you haven't seen the new stuff, this is stuff that should have been there day one. They should have posted this. Um, I knew that it existed. I didn't see pictures of it. Um, Hindsight's 2020, of course, but here is a dungeon crawler. Here's kind of their idea of how, you know, some of that kind of stuff might work on the Teberu. They're playing around with it. There's a hidden movement game that has all sorts of possibilities now that a lot of it's, you know, electronic. They have like a PvP skirmish style thing going on there too. There's a lot of very cool games that I think could go on the Teberu system. And it's great to see the Teberu system and not just Bad Karma's highlighted. So I think that's very good for them and hopefully that helps more people realize the potential of the system next up we have master dater this is by uh, cyanide and happiness of course essentially you're just trying to be the person to match like three cards or whatever you pick a top and a bottom half um it's the typical kind of party game stuff that uh, i guess really they're known for at this point um uh, non-gamers can have fun with it um, but also it's a good filler game, perhaps stuff like that. So, and there's, you know, there's of course a not safe for work version because everybody loves to pay for those. Um, it just also all sorts of different things you can get, uh, which is good. I'm glad people are having fun. Legacy of Thrax, the awakening 57,000 out of a 50,000 goal, definitely struggling a little bit. So 20 days to go, there's can always turn it around. That being said, um, it is, and it even has like the solo mode by David here. Um, one update and it's been out for longer than a day and i don't like seeing that it's like you still need to be updating and talking about your game and and just engaging with the community uh, even if you decide to actually cancel this at the end it's great advertising and it's a great way to you for you to connect with the people that honestly care which is nice all right next up we have age of rome there's a lot here by the way guys so i'm going to keep moving on one hundred three thousand dollars. uh so that is again now it's one hundred and three thousand eight hundred eighty-four. uh finally 99 minutes right under 100 that's kind of funny beautiful game by the way it was very pretty i was quite impressed freaking gorgeous look at that i didn't know they added this that's funny <laughs> that's that's from my thumbnail actually very very pretty i mean you can see just how pretty this looks. Very impressed with um, any Euro the uh, style game that has this much just prettiness there. Like you can see like the, the, the turntable Lazy Susan stuff you got going on there. Just overall, I think looks quite nice. So uh, yeah, very, very cool. And definitely, again, looks kind of unique too. I'm trying to see if they have my video. That's why I keep scrolling. Uh, sometimes people forget to post it. Sometimes they refuse to post it. It just all depends um let's see i am maybe here somewhere oh man look at these red and yellow text where'd you get that i'm calling shenanigans on some of this oh um oh maybe i'm not there well they have the quote oh there i am right there freaking gorgeous yes very pretty game for sure love the art all right next up we have aldara this is a relaunch it was here before it was more expensive it is now cheaper and look at that it funded more too I can't stress this enough. Day one, your value has to be there. It can't be compartmentalized into other things. It can't be revealed slowly. It needs to just be there. Day one's so important. Um, and this did better with it. It also, it also, I think, did better than it was because it was on Kickstarter before. So it did get a little bit of a following. It did get people talking about it. And often I feel that can help a lot as well. Uh, yeah, miniature scale down to be more cost effective. Uh, yeah, they, they were really, really big. Honestly, with how full this board game is, I don't know if this is the the um uh, uh, are finally detailed and huge. So I don't know if this is how big this is, but that's really crowded, right? Uh, sometimes smaller game pieces actually help. So I'm just saying, like that's that is actually a real thing. That being said, the renders are still a little iffy, especially with the size difference. But um, you know, that's something that you know we'll just need to deal with. Next up, Darkest Doom. This is uh pretty much a like a a, a 
I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Um, in a cool way, in a cool way. Uh, there are, what, over 40 goals unlocked at this point, 351,000, um, getting close to 360,000, just keep going from there. Uh, everything is an animal, it's kind of like a, a, a furry kind of thing going on here, um, but like a really cool, like in a cool way. Um, as you can see, it just looks super interesting, actually. It reminds me of like Dustin Elysium Tales and stuff like that, that, that is that kind of feeling to the um the the style here uh that's a cool mini by the way they have some that like are encapsulate other people as you can see here just a very unique game and a lot of paths to victories my understanding on that one all right next up we have the ac academic 133 plus xl this is by the professor himself delaney community college he made his own deck box. He's been reviewing these for years. It only makes sense. It looks different. It looks unique. I dig it. People are loving it. 2.7 million, 31,000 backers. Because this thing is, it's less than 50 bucks. It has all this like felt on it. Looks very nice. Looks very organized. It handles all sorts of sleeves, double sleeved, even triple sleeved cards. Um, because you can never have too many sleeves. Uh, dice well, stuff like that. Like it looks like he really put some thought into it. That's him shaking it. So when he tests them, he tests the magnet by loading it up and shaking it upside down, seeing if the cards fell out. They do not always uh, hold well. They, um, I'm assuming his does, or he wouldn't put his name on it. So honestly, I'm tempted. I really am. I love Magic the Gathering. It's a fun game. I wouldn't mind keeping my favorite deck in there. That being said, I swap decks so often. I actually pretty much have like a mini cube of just all my decks that I like take out at will. Hey, you want to play the blue deck? Or you want to play this deck or that deck? I can pull it out. We can play. We can have some fun. So I would need maybe a few of these, but um, either way, very cool. All right, next up, Uprising Titans of the First Age is coming out soon by Nemesis Games. It'll be on GameFound. And one thing to note is that I am actually working with them. They are on board with the consulting for the campaign. I've had several meetings with them. I've done a lot of work for them. Hopefully it ends up being uh, beneficial to you guys. I think it will. I think it will. I think uh, they'll do quite well. I think everybody will be happy and uh, they'll they'll just have everything, you know, that, that you kind of need. It, it's a little difficult, right? Because it's a second campaign run, right? So there's a little bit you know, more nuance to it. But overall, I think they have a solid idea of what they're offering, what they're giving, and what you guys can get. And then, of course, you guys have all your answers uh, or questions answered and kind of have a, a hopefully more of a confident back of a well-run campaign uh, because of it. So if I can help with that, that is awesome. So yeah, just as an FYI, um, take everything I say with a grain of salt because of that whole thing. So, um, but Happy to help. And that gives me a person doing minis, a person doing campaign. Uh, the, 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 this doesn't have minis. So, I mean, like, it's 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 great that I'm able to work with these companies and, and help out when I can. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And that's coming out here soon. There is, of course, Yusia, Torment of Resurrection, and Fierce Powers. It's introducing a pet class. There's nothing more I can say about it. Nothing more I can say about it. That is awesome. Look at all that freaking content. My goodness. There is a ton. So they got like reprints here and new content. Um, yeah, really, really cool looking for sure. And uh, it's coming out here in less than a month. All right, next up we have the pit achieve the power honestly this looks a little dorky uh however there are definitely people that are excited about it in a one versus one semi-cooperative board game set in a dark fantasy universe well there is a lot to unpack there but a lot of those words are people are things people like um so anyway you feel free to look into this i kind of did a little bit and i was like yeah it's whatever it's by dodo corporation um feel free to tell me otherwise if if you think it's like freaking amazing escape from stalingrad z another game coming out this is one of those games that you play in the book so the book is the the map which is cool of course um and of course it's it's like a, an alt world war ii uh scenario thing which is always fun to you know we uh, be in that world and you know experience the wackiness of all that all right next up we have the breach this is by Lewis Manic studio may 24th 2022 on kickstarter i really hope i have at least dei by then uh which is a great game very much looking forward to that but yeah i would like to see that i would like to see um you know uh, my nova Antis. i mean there's there's definitely some stuff they still need to deliver as well this looks kind of interesting though. They are using two different plastics. So they're using this uh, clear plastic as well to extend it, which will look awesome. That being said, you can't get too sold out on the renders because 
Bluesman Studio has come out and even publicly said they do not render on what's possible, they render on what's cool. So something like this, with all the gaps on the side, don't expect that. It's a, it's a render that will never work as a mini. They know it doesn't represent it. They don't care the back it anyway. I don't like that, but it, because it requires you guys to know better, but yeah, like don't expect that sort of stuff going on there. That's just, that's not how this works. They do have this two component miniature, uh, uh, way essentially it's you know a mold with two different plastics going in for different parts and then of course during assembly they they, they put the colored parts there um they look very cool in here i wouldn't expect all this like shininess but in general i think it looks nice i like how it's incorporated into the bases i think that'll look super cool on the table i'm excited to see more people do that i want to see special effects and magic spells and stuff like that with this plastic i think you could do it quite well Except we have the Elder Scrolls Betrayal of the Second Era. This is not coming out till the fall. Just want to remind you guys, I try to bring up stuff over time. Uh, just so you guys are staying in the loop. Remember, this is a thing that's coming out. All right, now, Awaken Realms. This is this is kind of an issue. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's not like a huge thing per se. It just bothers me. So they have Awaken Realms next, so where they announced uh, more of the Great Wall, uh, Castles of Burgundy, and more Tainted Grail. So there is definitely some stuff coming out again i'll link down to this in the description below but suffice it to say uh if you like awaken realm games you're going to be pretty happy here for a while the one issue i have with this is just kind of a shift i've noticed it was always kind of iffy um but th this one kind of made me feel a little icky here so it says awaken realms next right and it says today we would like to invite you to something a little bit different together with awaken realms we have prepared a special announcement for their upcoming campaigns now this is very much a us and them, right? Their campaign. And we've partnered with Awakened Realms, which is separate. And that's both true and misleading at the same time. So if you go to their about page, which is really the only way to see this, as you scroll down here, you don't really, you don't see mention of Awakened Realms anywhere. If you click on the about us, so you are taken to this site where you can learn a little bit more. And right up here, GameFound creators, Awakened Realms, made their first crowdfunding campaign in 2015, and they, or better, we, as GameFound, are part of the Awakened Realms group. Now, this whole part where they include themselves as part of Awakened Realms uh, because they're part of the same group is not reflected here at all, where it's their game and, and their stuff um, up here. And so I just, I don't like... I don't like it when there's information that could be uh, beneficial to the reader that is, is not made obvious. And in fact, is made kind of very much um, non-obvious j just to benefit from it. And I think that's unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, I, ideally, uh, Game of Found can continue this this we here so that people understand that they there is some conflict of interest there, some preferential treatment perhaps. Um, and the fact that um, Awaken Realms gets this like dedicated thing to all three of their games and is also uh, not mentioned. Oh, hey, by the way, um, yeah, this, we, we are Awaken Realms. The same people are in charge here, but whatever. Um, it, it is. I, I just, you know, as somebody who does disclaimers, somebody who just told you guys how I'm working with Nemesis Games for Uprising, I just wish uh, GameFile could be like, hey, so our sister company, uh, Awaken Realms, like, it's that easy. Radio stations here do that. They literally, like, they don't just start partnering and then not mention, oh, by the way, we're owned by the same people. Extremely common to do. Nobody cares. It's not going to hurt anybody. Why not do it? We need to get better at doing that, especially uh, as companies, especially as larger companies, uh, to just inform the reader of what's going on. All right, lastly, we have the Veil of Ruin, a 5e setting in miniatures. I reported on this uh, last time about how they didn't pay. Um, and they came back and did a response. You can go ahead and read it. But essentially, they're saying like, um, yeah, it's because there was no profit. It was always in the contract. We won't pay if there was no profit. There was no profit. Therefore, we don't pay. Um, so, and, and like there were chances to pay or some junk. Like, I don't know. It sounds messy, of course. Uh, they were out at the time. That being said, um, you know, the, the, they made a thing on seven days ago and then just kind of let it be, which I think is their hope. But ideally, it's in the updates, at least in the FAQ, so that uh, people can, um, you know, learn both sides of the story, which is a good thing. Guys, that is it. I know I moved super quick. I know there's more stuff out there. I'll get to it in another news video. I try to do these at least once a week for you guys so you guys can stay up to date with a lot of what's going on. Um, so if you have anything you want me to talk about 
If you have any suggestions, down in the description below. Do not forget this shirt. Again, thank you so much. You do get 10% off. And you, if you uh, submit a picture of you wearing it, you could get a $50 coupon there. That's another pretty much three shirts for you uh, right off the bat. And, and my coupon code always works even on sales. So yeah, definitely there's some good savings involved there. So anyway, that's it. That's all I had. Have a great rest of your day. I'll tell you guys again very, very soon. Bye guys.